Welcome to Black Stacks. Today we discuss organizing my bookshelves. My goal was to separate my bookshelves by books that I had read and books that I hadn't so that I could easily see what I should be looking towards in my TDR decision making. That was that was it. That was all I had in mind. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. So First, I take you on a tour of the house. We stop into my bedroom. We have this bookshelf here. It's very dusty. It's very dirty. There are some cubbies here where my partner may be performing a social experiment on me. But these are primarily books that I've read with a couple uh, new books in this first cubby that I haven't gotten to and most of them are actually arcs. Over here we have my nightstand. I understand that it is not aesthetically pleasing but at the nighttime when I'm tired this is what I want to do. Next we have my office. These books piled under my keyboard are due to panic. Uh, the top row of this bookshelf, they're, they're all music books and they are music books because I music in this room and I feel that it is necessary that the books for musicking are in the music room where I music. Over here is another pile of books that is, that is also panic. That is also panic. Downstairs in our basement slash living space conundrum situation is the big boy, the big stepper. I began by removing all the books that I had read and then I started plucking out the books that I have no intention of ever reading and have no interest in and will never have interest in for a plethora of reasons. I set those aside to make a different pile. Then I began the process of bringing down all the books from upstairs that I had not read that were breathing big unread air into the atmosphere of my workspace. I then carried them downstairs and included them in the bookshelf at which I was now organizing and alphabetizing by last name of the author. It became apparent very quickly that I was bringing down a lot of books. I was bringing down a lot of piles and the unread pile of books sitting on my floor was not only tiny but it also was not moving. It was not growing. It was not giving. And I was sitting here and I was like, Curly, it's giving book buying van. It's giving cap. It's giving you have never read a book in your life and this whole thing is a sham. So by the finish, these were the completed reads that I had owned with the exceptions of the hard covers that I could not fit on my shelf at which I piled in a corner of my office. I then organized the bookshelf in my office with books uh, that I want to add to my TBR in the next coming months, books that I intend on reading very quickly in the procession of my life. Um, but I kept the music books where the music books happen and then under the, the piano, the piano pedal space, I designated that library books because I feel like they should be there because I will see them because I forget to return them often. So if I like see them, they're there. Yeah, my partner very kindly lent me a space of his his, uh, his board game situation. We, as you can see, kind of share this bookshelf, this bookshelf space. So he lent me, he lent me one of his squares. And that was very helpful because I honestly had ran out of room. It was getting, it was getting scary. He was getting disgusting, but he also bought me these little like bookshelf risers platform thingies that were actually really really heat. He only bought one because they were kind of expensive, but they were adjustable and they like slid right in there and they held up these books and I was like, this is really cool. And it kind of threw off my alphabetical thing because I like, this is just what I had to work with. These were just like leftover books from like my life. And I was like, this, this right in the middle seems great. These books are the floppiest books ever separate from this like display setup so don't use that as reference but it was amazing and then i donated all the books i on haul to reading for black lives which if you aren't familiar is like a books of the account really it's an organization based in new york ran by my black non-binary friend who also teaches where they gather books that are usually focused on people of color or queer identities and they provide them at like local fairs and events uh to people of color or really whoever comes by for free so that they are accessible so if you want to know how to help that cause donate to that cause send some books over from wherever you are i will link all that stuff below but in conclusion what i really took from this little project was that the day that this video goes up is the day that my book buying ban starts and it shall end on december 7th which is my birthday for obvious reasons so with that i close my wallet and bid you adieu keep with the books sacks